Okay, just in case. Yeah, well, that's not going to help us. Berserk is going to join us next round. We probably need to still deal with the max first. Their rockets are just crazily effective. We're healing ourselves. Good. Let's see what else we can do. Yeah, we need to kill the Berserk. Unfortunately, half of our team is currently going crazy. Let's reload. Ready to go. Ah, there are a couple of real threats, but I guess we gotta deal with the Berserk, who's like standing right in the middle of us first. Moving into safety. Confirmed. What we could do is we could simply flashbang him. That way we can focus on other targets first. Not saying that it's going to be a guarantee, but at least it is a chance for us. All right, reloading. Let's fortify ourselves. Got to deal with the mu uh, with mutants next, and the berserk up there. Good. That mutant is dead. The one who is essentially burning is also dead. Gotta kill the Berserk here, by the way, whilst we're doing this, let's fortify ourselves. Fortunately, we can't do that for Zirkim, who is going to take a lot of heat. I mean, Dark Tower has a lot of shields. We probably could position him up here. And that would at least draw some of the fire away from Zirkim. On the other hand, don't want to stand in the open there. Half cover just isn't really helpful.
can also move up to here and try hitting the mech. Well, it'll take some heat away from Zirkim, and I know that he needs that at the moment. The AI will focus on the closer target. Flamethrower is not good enough. We were to hit here. Very low chance to crit. Pretty decent chance of dealing damage. We're going to shred it. It's probably ending up with 9 hit points, no armor. It's going to be a decent setup for next round to be killed. Fortunately, we can't see the other mech. This mutant is already dead. Could set up this mutant. Flashbang would be the better choice, but we don't have that yet um, on him. There we go. I like the idea of Volt. It's probably not going to work. Six to seven, really low chance of killing him. Another six to seven, really low chance of killing him. Could go to here, rent, and essentially parry from here. Which makes it li li likely that we're going to be attacked and it's going to be parried. I think we're going to do that. Can't kill either of the others. Um, so. Got ourselves to maximum focus. That's good. And now a very painful round will start. They got three mechs, Stun Lancer, Centurion. I wasn't expecting him to charge in, to be honest. All right, that's the parry. So far, so good. Almost forgot about the shield bearer. The heavy mech will probably use its uh, rockets again. Luckily for us, they are not using rockets afterwards again. Again, luckily for us, we are reflecting. Furious the MVP here. Oh my gosh, this is way closer than I would have expected. Another reflect. Hell yeah. Come on, miss. Thanks to the flashbang. All right, unconscious. I mean, could be worse. Not much worse, but it could be worse. Whew. 
Revival Protocol. Fury is back up. I like it. If we were to haywire protocol, uh, that's an average shutdown chance. I much rather would like to heal. Seer Kim has a healing kit himself. Yes, he does. Okay. Hmm, okay, wow. Ooh, guys, this is intense. Gotta find out how we're going to deal with that. Free reload, yes. 100% hit. That Centurion is a pain in the ass. We gotta hit him. And we gotta hit him hard. If we can hit him, we might kill him. He's probably the highest target at the moment. Specifically since he's got a stunt up there. Okay, we could go a bit further back and hit him. Pretty sure that that's going to work. Definitely could move to here and hit him. Okay, let me double check how we're optimizing our damage here. Like I said, this is a bit more complicated and it actually really matters. This here is a laser rifle, okay. Moving over here, Could move over here and take shots, which I think we're going to do. Move to here. Now let's move to here and take shots. Okay, let's take down the hundred percent shot, the advent mech. Okay, there we go. That's one down. Next up, we need to kill the mechs. They are just storming in, dealing all of the damage. It is tough, this guy. Five to nine. There's a decent chance that we're not going to kill it. Can move up to here. Oh, we're moving up to here. To get just a little bit closer. Now, rapid fire. No, yes, okay. I would like to have two hits, please. Nice. Very good. Very, very good. Oh, 
All right, Zirkim definitely needs help. Fortifies himself to be not such an easy target. Let's kill the mech. Oh my gosh, how can he miss that? Oh, I should have used warp fire. Alright, this here takes care of the stun lancer with a, a change of plans. Now he, got, he has some placeable, which we're going to use in order to get him out of that really uncomfortable position. It is really bad. I don't know whom to heal. We're all low on health. Not even sure if we can heal anyone or if that is if we're better off essentially hitting the Centurion. Good. We have the option to either 100% Kill the archer and let the centurion live, which would stink. And heal up. Yeah, I think we're going to play it that way. The other alternative is to try to body down the centurion. So moving to here, moving out. and I would like to hit the Centurion. 90% chance. We could also try to go for the Berserk. But I think the Centurion is a far easier target. Took a lot of damage. We're going with a heal for Zirkim. Nice, and we stunned him. Good fucking job. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to have to deal with any of these guys, so we're going for full cover back here. Probably taking another hit. Critical. But still surviving it. Damage spreads out nicely. Fortunately, the Berserk didn't let her take another shot. And I would have needed the sniper kill this guy. Have we really triggered yet another pack? 
Oh shit. Oh my god. This is not good. This pack is easier though. Lots of lower hit point targets. Well, not anymore. Unbelievable, the amount of survivability that Fury has. Alright, they marked him. We definitely need to pull him back. This is looking tough. I wasn't expecting that we're having this amount of uh, resistance and unfortunately our continuous uh, mm, problems with panic do not make the whole scene much easier you know what i think we're in a pretty decent position back here might as well just kill the drone That was unfortunate. Reloading. Let's get the Centurion down. Perfect. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Now, we do have a limited amount of heal to spread. Fury definitely gets one. Can either heal nasty. Dark Tower is okay with five hit points. Hmm, two hit points is not a lot. Might as well want to wait so we can use aid protocol. Good. Drone is done. We got Implaceable. Moving further back with Zirkum. Let's set up the big guy for a kill. Reload. Fortify. Heal ourselves. So we're currently in full cover. I like that. And this here might even burn him. Nice, he's burning. That's exactly what I was hoping for. Reload. Save to eight. Uh, not enough to kill anyone.
So in terms of hit points, he is very low. Might as well do that next turn because I rather want to deal with a Berserk. He's not going to be stunned for long. They got another Stun Lancer, which is a huge problem. Definitely got to deal with a Stun Lancer. Could move all the way up to here to flank the Stun Lancer. That's probably a good idea. We're going to take a couple of shots though. I don't want the Sun Lancer to be able to take shots at us. That is inevitably going to lead to another unconscious soldier and this time I don't have revival protocol. We're going to trigger the overwatches with lightning reflexes. Alright, I decided not to heal anyone. Instead, we need to kill the Berserk. It's now finally set up for success. There we go. Another kill, and we're going to probably move back just a tiny bit. Something along the lines of here. Into full cover. And last but certainly not least, we got the Advent Stun Lancer. We got the Advent Stun Lancer, and I think we're simply going to hammer a rapid shot at, at it. Rapid shot without a cooldown is imbalanced. It's good. I love it. He's burning. He can't do anything this turn. And just when everyone else is sort of dead, we're fighting yet another pack. Taking fire over here. Incoming over here. Lots and lots and lots of enemies. Okay, I'm all right. we're doing sort of all right. Probably need to heal again. It's probably around where we're exclusively healing. I'm still thinking that we should kill this guy so that the rest of our flank is freed up. There we go. That means we can help our friends.
All right, Dark Taranoxos could start hitting this guy. We are overall in a bit of a tough spot here. Moving into full cover. Lots and lots of 50-50s. There we go. So Renman got, uh, gets some healing. Topping him off. And we need Nasty as well. Good, we're out of healing. Moving into cover. I guess I mean we could run and charge into there uh, but the problem is as so often that is going to lead to even more trouble is it clear? might as well just take the full cover and overwatch They are going to move to our location, I guess be okay. but that would be okay, because they either double move or stand in the open. Got it covered. And we're going to greet them with a few overwatch shots. There we go. That's the only full cover spot. I can't move. That's the only half cover spot. That shouldn't be in range. Okay, I'm wrong. That is in range. That is open ground. He doesn't even care for cover. Alright, do we even have more grenades, rockets, anything? No. Completely out. Well, we do have a flashbang here. Alright, moving into cover. Let's get that Advent Officer. And I don't know which of the two shield bearers 
is the one that we need to kill, but this one here definitely could die. And it might mean that all of them are losing their extra health. Well, what's the other one? Reload and let's rock. Time to get rid of some of the Advent Troopers. There we go. One down. Fantastic. It will be full cover and we're going to be able to flank someone. Let's try to hit the sentry, shall we? Again, full cover. And this here actually should be a flanking shot. Apparently it's not, because the sentry somehow manages to get cover. Not sure how exactly it can obtain cover from that position. Zirkin fails to hit, which is a shame. Probably need to move into full cover again. Dark Tower Noxus moves up. Again, another flanking position here. Sentry is down, which is great. Let's continue with the officer. All right, Edgarian Poe moves in. We definitely need some more gun power. He's out of uh, medkits, so we're simply modifying him to uh, become a frontline soldier. Everyone's in full cover, so we should be fine. And we also got sufficient hit points. Lowest target here has six and one armor. Good, we're only fighting against three of them. Who just lost their shield, perfect. Good. We got ourselves a sniper shot here. Very 
nice. Moving up. Good copy. Moving on target. I'll take forty percent. That's good enough. That didn't do much. This here is uh, almost one hundred percent kill. There we go, we can now parry, and since that means we're going to be the prime target uh, for him, for the shield bearer, we're actually in a safe position. Continuing to take a couple of shots, I'm trying to get rid of uh, the tree there. Moving into a safe spot, overwatching. If you say so. All right, we're still doing okay. Thirty percent. Not really good. That's fortify and overwatch. Fifty fifty. I am going to take that. And he's shooting right into the parry, as expected. I somewhat lost track of uh, the amount of enemies. Let's shortly recap. We hit the pack of six here. Three snakes, two drones, one captain, so that's six down. Then we got another pack of three mutants plus a mech plus another viper so that's five so we're at 11 and we got another pack that we were fighting here of six soldiers so that's 17 then the extra pack added which was oh and i forgot the berserk 18 sorry the first berserk then another pack added with a berserk plus centurion plus three mechs plus uh, one soldier so that's 24 and then this pack here added which was another six soldiers so that's 30 which means there's only one more pack left oh yeah and and the chosen sorry almost forgot about her Miscounted. I forgot one pack. Yeah, there was another pack with four in there. Boy, oh boy. Wow, that was a hell of a supply rate. Another one and a half hours later. Oh my god. That was... A banger of a mission. I'm happy that we did it though. This just goes to show that the chosen are vulnerable and we can take them down. Couple of injuries, which was to be expected. And we got a promotion to Magus. I love it. 
Evasive is good, face off is actually also good. Like his pistol skills aren't bad. Uh, quick draw, face off. It's pretty damn good. But I like Void Conduit. Heals him. Great CC. I like Reaper. <laughs> For obvious reasons. Oh my gosh. I think we're going with Reaper. But Void Conduit is so good. Ghost is also so good. Look, I could get Void Conduit and Ghost instead of Reaper. I think that's what we're going to go for. Two for the price of one. We just will need to give him more focus. So this alone here is almost uh, 60 uh, supplies. Look at that, another 80 supplies. We are rich. So many corpses. We're getting thin on manpower, Commander. We should check with Resistance HQ for new recruits. Yeah. Got a few negative traits there. Just minor negative traits. <laughs> yeah, well, good. Resistance communications might be the way to go. We don't need them yet, though. Can we upgrade the infirmary? Yeah, we don't need the hypervital module. But with the supplies, increasing the squad size might not be the worst idea. I also like tactical infiltration, which might be uh, the thing that we need to go for. Essentially making it way more likely for us to take six or seven soldiers. I like stay with me for obvious reasons. Squad size increase also for obvious reasons. You know, I want to save some money for the hazmat vests, so we're probably increasing the squad size by one for now. And the rest goes into hazmat vests when we need them. Great. Are we at uh, the Templars HQ? Almost seems like that. Good. The month ended. Guys, look at that. Retaliation stopped. Seven missions. Supply rate. Two investigations. Avatar project re uh, reduced. Covert ops. Proving grounds. That was a pretty damn good month. Shit, they got their summoning abilities, which are usually pretty damn powerful. Yeah, I like that, but I like Between the Eyes more. Nice, another 150 supply. And look at that. Finally, we got our scientist. Perfect. Plus, 
Mitch Mitchell got one permanent health. Let's take a look at our at our options here. Reduce avatar project pretty much looks like a good idea, and I like the idea of a promotion. I wish we could put our Templar on this one. Probably the right idea. Mobility plus one is good. Aim plus three isn't bad. I like the dodge as well. Ability points and health. That is really good. An engineer. Needless to say that that is good. Mobility and another scientist. Hmm. You know, I like the extra mobility. Do we have health somewhere? Yeah, we also got health here. A couple of really good options. I definitely like reusing the Avatar project as well. But I think mobility and the scientist is a combination that I can't pass. It's just too good. Mitch Mitchell. Goes on to this mission again. Corporal Brown follows him. And yeah, another scientist will help us. I already mentioned we need all the scientists that we can get. Got ourselves fi five scientists now. And the newfound scientists of uh, the last mission could help if we simply put him here. Oh, they already have a scientist. In which case, the guys in South Africa, they also have scientists. God damn it. So here we could use an engineer, of course, non-available. Just out of curiosity, can we do anything else? Intel hiding supply. I wanted to recruit, but that is still not possible. Anyways, we're continuing. Quite a few are now recovering from the wounds. Which is a great moment too, or a great option to re remove negative traits. Apparently, no one has negative traits. We should have our science staff assigned to facilities to maintain an efficient operation. Okay, we could use more scientists to even further speed up the research. All right, wait a second. So that's a two days mission only. 
I think we can't do that. I like the 27 Intel as reward, but I think the two days are a bit too short. And by the way, another mission just finished the 100% infiltration, so we might as well do that. Let's just double check if we could uh, field a team. Yeah, not even going to try it. The two days are way too short. This looks much more like it. Heck, a workstation, Intel, Intel package. So here we can definitely put a team together. Give me a sec. All right, certainly not the best team. We're lacking a lot of our, um, cover removal. But two specialists, two ranger, infantry, and a skirmisher should be enough to deal with uh, 10 to 12 enemies. Also, we're going to have enough time to over-infiltrate, so I think we're going to be okay with that. I would put even another soldier in here, but we have no one ready, so might as well do it with a five here. And that brings us to the end of today's session, because we're right about to uh, um, execute on the next mission. Which is, I think... Let's see... I think it's this one here. No, that's 95% infiltrated. Yeah, might be this one here. Smash and grab. So that's our next mission, guys. Thank you so much for watching. It was a longer than expected episode. As always, leave a like below and a comment. Thanks and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.